Well, good afternoon, Mr. Holster. This is a VR, ladies and gentlemen, for uh, Mr. Holster and his hashtag Mr. Holster 1000 sub giveaway. Now, I'll leave a link down below. If you haven't heard of Mr. Holster, go and check him out. Now, let's get to the meat and potatoes of the thing. What Mr. Holster wants in his VRs is he wants quotations from famous movies. Well, Mr. Holster, anybody who knows me is going to tell you I'm an overachiever. I always do more than is asked. So I have a few of them for you tonight. I'll take the first one from the same movie series that you quoted in your 1,000 movie giveaway, 1,000 sub giveaway announcement video. A man's got to know his own limitations. Dirty Harry series. Not sure just which movie it was from. It's been a long time since I watched any Dirty Harry. But there's a more impressive movie quote from a more impressive, or at least in my book, a more impressive character. That character would be one, Audie Murphy. In the movie of his own true life here story to Helen back and I'll tell you what now I don't know there's a lot of folks out there who are not going to know what I'm talking about during World War II Audie Murphy a true American hero in every sense of the word the most highly decorated US soldier of that conflict. 37 or 39 different medals, including the Claude Gerwood Palms from both France and Belgium. Or was it Holland? It, it don't matter. Point is, he was a man. And those honors also included the Purple Heart and the Congressional Medal of Honor. Yeah, I know. It's no longer in style to call it the CMH. They just want to call it the Medal of Honor. Well, I'm an old fogey, and I do things the way they were intended to be done. But, I digress. This is about movie quotes. So, uh, Audie Murphy, in his own true life story, to Helen Back, the story of a soldier fighting in Europe, during World War II. And at one point in the movie, Audie, who is now a first or second lieutenant, and when he was a sergeant and they were threatening to give him rank, his men said, don't take it. If you take the rank, I hope you get shot in the butt. Well, there's one quote from that movie. Well, later, uh, he's taken the rank, and he and his men are facing uh, a battalion of German infantry and uh, I'm not sure how many panzers. And I'll tell you what, he tells his men to retreat and he stands his ground. And he's on the field phone, he's calling in uh, artillery on the panzers. The artillery agent is saying, well let's concentrate on the infantry first. How close are, are they to you? And he says, Mac, hold the phone and I'll let you talk to them. He's just concentrate on the uh, armor. I'll deal with the infantry. And so he starts calling in the artillery shots. He gave them a coordinates to shoot for. And they do. And it was a plum miss. And Audie says, okay, march it out 50 yards and fire for effect. And so the artillery starts firing, and Audie says, you're on the money now, keep firing. And he drops the phone, he jumps up onto a burning Sherman tank right next to him. There's a 30 caliber on the uh, top of the tank that's still serviceable, and he starts firing the uh, 30 at the infantry. And lo and behold, between himself and the artillery, they turn back the charge of the German army. 
I forget. I, I, I think this was somewhere around Bastoon. I'm not positive. I don't remember. Anyhow, here's the point. That's my quote. My other quote from this movie is, Hold the phone, Mac, and I'll let you talk to him. Peace. Oh, I have a question for you, Mr. Holster. Is that a holster for a 38 or a 44? Then again, knowing you, could be for a peacemaker. Peace out. By the way, don't forget to...